Hi, today I have another uh, population genetics problem for you. After graduation, you and 19 friends built a raft, sailed to the desert island and start a new population totally isolated from the world. Two of your friends carry that as a heterozygous for the recessive cystic fibrosis allele that is small c, which in homozygous cause cystic fibrosis. And the first question, assuming that the frequency of this allele does not change as the population grows, what will be the instance of the cystic fibrosis on your island? And uh, if you know hardy weinberg formula and how to apply it, you may answer for this first question and the, for the second question. And then um, you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So you may stop video here and run again when you would be ready. So how we are going to answer the first question? First of all, we have 19 uh, people plus you, so 20 people all together. That would have 40 alleles. Because we are deployed, we have two sets of chromosomes. One we inherited from our mother side, one from our father side. So all together that means that we have 40 uh, uh, chromosomes and uh, we carry two genes for the um, cystic fibrosis and uh, normally we have capital C capital C so we uh, uh, don't have this disease some people uh, carriers so they are not affected with this disease and would be capital C small c and some people might be affected uh, those people who have two genes that is small c, small c. And we know that two people are carriers. So uh, this gene pool of this island would have two alleles that is small c. So in order to find uh, uh, proportion of this uh, allele to the, to the whole gene pool, we have to divide 2 by 40. And the answer would be uh, occurrence of this small c. We can put small c here. Uh, uh, gene to the total gene pool would be 0 0.05. Or we also can uh, multiply by 100 and find the answer as a percentage. That would be 5%. So 5% of the whole gene pool would be uh, uh, allele that is small c. And now we can solve uh, occurrence of the homozygous recessive uh, in this population if it is grow. And uh, in order to do this we have to apply Hardy-Weinberg formula. So Hardy-Weinberg formula tell us that frequency of the genotypes would be p squared plus 2pq plus q squared and all this equal to 1 and p plus q equal to 1 also and here for the p squared we have homozygous dominant genotype for this middle part of the formula we have a heterozygous genotype that is capital C small c and for the Q squared, we have a homozygous recessive genotype that is small c, small c. And we already find that uh, frequency of the Q is 0 0.05. And uh, now we have to find uh, the occurrence of this disease in homozygous recessive form. So we have to find Q squared. And as long as we already know that p equals to 0 0.05, we can find p squared. So p squared would equal to 0 0.05, also squared. And the answer is 0 0.0025. Or we can multiply by 100 and we are going to get 0 
percent. So uh, this would be uh, percent of the people who would be homozygous uh, recessive in this particular uh, on this particular island, and uh, now we can uh, solve uh, the second question that is cystic fibrosis birth on the island is uh, how many times greater than the original mainland. The frequency of the birth on the mainland is 0 0.59. So in order to find how much greater occurrence of the homozygous recessive condition or how many people uh, have this uh, disease, uh, in order to compare these figures, we just have to divide the greater to the smallest. So we have to divide 0 0.25 by occurrence on the island, that is 0 0.059. And the answer here would be 4.24. So uh, occurrence... Uh, of this disease on the island would be 4.24 times greater than on the mainland uh, population. So uh, we solved two questions and we uh, still have uh, one question left. This is going to be on the next slide. So consider it to be extra point question. What is the evolutionary term describes the situation that has happened here? And I want to demonstrate my answer with a drawing. Imagine that this is a mainland and we have a gene pool of two alleles here. And this with a red color would be capital C allele. And white color here would be um, accidents of the small allele C. And uh, here would be island, isolated island, and imagine that small group of people from the mainland migrated to this island and founded a new population here, but accidents of this allele and that the small c would be much greater than the on the mainland. So uh, as you see this is 0 0.05 and on the mainland oxidants of this allele on in the homozygous recessive form is 0 0.0059 so this is much smaller than on the island and we call it uh, genetic drift due to founder effect. So this is all for today. Thank you for attention. Please subscribe to my new videos that I post almost every day. Uh, please write comments in the comment box. Thumbs up if you like my video. Goodbye.